Hello everybody and welcome to this short review. Normally I don't do these kind of re reviews, but I think this thing is actually interesting for some of you guys, because you can use this thing pretty easily with your obsolete technology. This is a VGA2 composite conver converter or RGB and this supports PAL, NTSC and I'm not sure if it supports ZCAM2 but at least PAL and NTSC and we are going to take a look at it. So this is the front, it's packed with these stickers. This is the upper side, high resolution, we'll check that, high resolution, high resolution, there are two variants, um, one supports VGA2, BNC video and S video, and the other one supports BNC video and S video 2 VGA, so if you want to connect an old DVD player to your screen from your PC, you want, want to use the other version. I have the upper version VGA2 BNC. The other side, just a short explaining, it's pretty easy to use. And on the back side, all the features. Um, yeah, this is my version, this is the other version. So, let's open, the, let's open it up. So, this is the user manual, instruction manual. This is English. This reads like it is from the late 90s, but it's not, it's not a bad translation. This is Chinese, not important, coming soon, this, I'm actually pretty surprised because this is a VGA cable, it's, I think it's pretty cool um, that there is one of these, it is not, not even short. I think it is one meter, yeah, one meter, definitely long enough, and the quality is not bad. It feels not cheap, to be honest. It feels definitely not cheap. That's actually kind of cool too, because that's, oh, never mind, that's the, uh, cable for the electricity, this is half a meter I guess, old USB and the other connection. This is the video cable, it is only a video cable because I am pretty sure this doesn't support audio. But that's also half a meter, I guess. And last but not least, this is the S-Video cable. I never had one of these before, but it's cool to have one, because some of my TVs actually support this. Also, half a meter, and this doesn't feel cheap too. Yes, good quality. So, so let's now come to the interesting part the converter box itself VGA2 video that's important um, it feels actually I'm surprised it doesn't feel so cheap it feels kind of cheap but not bad um, this Why this connector? I'm not sure if I can, can connect the video cable, if it's 
mount it like this. Oh, I actually can, but <laughs> uh, good quality. Mm. This is the VGA output, VGA input. I don't know why there is an input and a second output, but <laughs> why not? Uh, this is what's that? What the hell? I have no idea what that is. It says half on NTSC, half off PAL. But there is nothing. Ah, and this is 5 volts, 5 volts DC input. And this is to adjust height and something at the end, yeah, the uh, it is in not good condition, this is brand new, there is a scrub here and there, nah. let's hope it works, we are going to find it out now. So. I plugged everything in, let's test it. I connected my old retro PC and this should work. Yep. That looks pretty good. Let's adjust this. Yeah, that looks good. There's something missing up here, but not much. It actually looks good. Cool. Let's boot into Windows 95. Alright, I took the CF card out, so there is no bootable device, no. Um, but let's check what we can adjust here. We have the zoom here, yeah, and that makes, there are a few different modes, and I think this is the only right mode for this set. These arrows up and down just pull the, the picture up and down and to the left and to the right. Um, then there is the menu and there are actually a few things that you can adjust. There is the size, brightness, contrast, saturation. There is everything, which is pretty cool. Um, let's just try. The picture is not really sharp, so let's pull the sharpness up a bit, up a bit. Yeah, that's the maximum. And it's getting sharper. I don't know if you can see that, but it is a little bit sharper. You know, that's an old, uh, tube TV and the tube in this thing is pretty tired, so there is no sharp picture. Yeah, picture gets brighter and darker. All these possibilities to adjust the picture, you know, they are there, but you can't really use them because. Uh, the important thing is just the CRT you are using, uh, uh, respectively the 
TV that you are using. So all these features are just not important. Um, there is PAL and no color, that's black and white. And there is NTSC. I don't know if this TV supports NTSC, but I think yes, because otherwise it, the picture was, would shake and look weird. Um, what uh, what is D flick? Let's let's check that. It makes everything a bit fatter, but I think yeah, that only affects this menu and not the picture itself. But it has some cool features. And I think we saw everything, so let's get back to the conclusion. So, on one hand, this thing is packed with features and awesome adjustments. On the other hand, you can't really use them because they are not that useful. Because the main thing um, that affects the quality of the picture is the CRT respectively the TV itself. Next, uh, on one hand in the package is everything you need. It contains a VGA cable, that composite video cable and this S-video cable. On the other hand, this thing feels pretty cheap and the quality is pretty bad. On one hand, this thing does its job just perfect. It is able to produce produce a PAL picture as well as a NTSC picture. On the other hand, it only supports the video output. There is no audio output. This is caused by VGA because VGA itself does not support audio as well so you need to use other things to create the audio signal for your TV but that's not a big deal and I think this is all we can really say about this thing and for me it just works a little all in all conclusion would be I would definitely recommend buying this thing because it it does its main job pretty good and the S-Video support, support is a nice add-on. Like this video if you want to support me, subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any future reviews and thanks for watching and have a good one.